a Shih Tzu Maltese. He's nine months old. And as cute and loving as he is, he loves to chew stuff. He loves to chew paint on the wall. He loves to chew toilet paper, any kind of paper. Children. he yeah. love it. <laughs> so he chews everything. Anything else going on with him? Oh, my gosh. He chewed all my wires, my Mac wire, my yeah. Apple charger, my Beats, okay. <laughs> my boyfriend's Beats. Okay, so it sounds like he chews. Oh yeah, he has a okay. problem. <laughs> Here's an old trick that I used to do a long time ago. I'm gonna let you stand in the middle so you can Thank get you. the benefit of it. An old trick I used to do a long time ago, okay? This right here is lemons. We love them, dogs can't stand them, okay? We have a kind of a taste for this, but dogs, to them, it's very bitter. There's, uh, there's products in the market, actually, that replicate this taste. I like the more organic uh, taste. So what you wanna do is, you wanna bring the dog over to the object, especially like a power cord, because that could actually do some serious damage to a dog. And you want to rub this on the power cord, and you want to put the power cord, just touch his mouth with it, I promise you he'll back off of it, okay? Because the sour taste will, will serve as a reminder. And then what you want to do is you want to take the peel, mm -hmm. take the peel and rub it in areas that you don't want him to chew. Because that peel, the outside of it will last for days. Now, we have bad noses, dogs have great noses. Mm -hmm. He will smell anywhere around the house that you don't want him to chew. This is a very simple way to stop dogs from chewing. However, you can't just stop it. You have to divert their, uh, uh, their chew to another area. So okay. once, you, once you stop the chewing in that area, I want you to redirect them to something he can chew. Okay. Natural chews, toys, stuffies, you name it. Whatever he likes to chew, antlers and nyla bones are great. Okay. So or you a different can't brand just... of computer cord, like Adele. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't say it, you did. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now what's, what's this all about, aluminum foil? Well, okay, this is, a, this is an old trick I used to do. A lot of people have problems with dogs on the furniture, and I, I don't personally have a problem with that. I let my dogs on the furniture, but a lot of people don't like it, okay? Oh, I do. They dirty all my furniture. <laughs> now, do you want to stop it? Yes. Okay, there's two ways to stop Maybe it. Maybe you shouldn't have a dog. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> thinking out loud here. This dog's not doing anything to make you happy. Oh. <laughs> There's two simple ways to stop it. Number one, if he's on the furniture, you want him off. That penny bottle that I had is a great way. Say the word off, give it a shake, and that right there, the sound of it will get him off the furniture. But if you want to keep him off when you're not there, this is an old trick I learned from somebody a long time ago. Simply pull out some foil, put it on the top of the couch. The second he jumps up there and hits this, he's going to jump right off. Once you do this for about a week or two, he's going to realize that foil's up there. He's never going to go to it again, and eventually you can take the foil away. It's a very simple trick I've been doing for a long time. That's, that's amazing. And you have one more? Well, this is a basic uh, training 101. Now, oh, yeah. he is he, does he have any obedience training? No. I mean, okay. we tried, but he, he doesn't, doesn't need listen. to be obedient looking like that. Okay, here's <laughs> what I want you to do. I want you to, let me uh, clip him right here. Now, here's what we're going to do. I have my bag of treats here somewhere, but that one missing. <laughs> Go ahead and step on that, uh, that leash. Step on it? Step on it. Okay, all we're gonna do, this is a technique called the double leash lock off. Okay, what I want you to do with My boy's like, <laughs> Where are you um, what I want you to do with him, okay. okay, it's called the double leash lock off for obvious reasons. There's two leashes, it's locked off, okay? okay? You could do this to the leg of a chair. All I want you to do is hold a treat in front of him. You teach them manners this way. Oh, you see, he's already learning. You teach them manners this way, okay? okay. The reason why this technique works is because if you look, he can't move forwards, backwards, left, or right, okay? okay. This is very force-free training, by the way. Okay. I have a loose leash. What you want to do is you want to teach him all his obedience commands with this double leash lock-off technique. The reason why it works is because I, now I have him stable. It's control. Mm -hmm. When I had him on one leash, he was out of control. It's like holding a kite on a windy day. <laughs> this right here, now I have my ultimate control. I can train any obedience command with this technique. It's called the double leash lock-off. It's all through the book. Okay. This is what I do every, uh, almost every show on Lucky Dog. It's my favorite technique, and it works on just about every single dog. Okay. Wow, that's good As stuff. That's, that's incredible. I have good news, too. Everybody in the audience is going home with Brandon's book, Lucky Dog Lessons. <laughs> it's great to meet you. It's really you. fascinating thank stuff. You. And thank you so much. We so appreciate it. it. Join Brandon McMillan and the Lucky Dog community on Facebook at facebook.com slash CBS Lucky Dog. We'll be right back.